Today, I wanna give you the three easy steps to boost your gym's revenue with personal training sales. Personal training can be a great revenue booster, especially in the summer months, which we're in right now, when you tend to get a lot of holds or even cancellation requests for your large group members, it's also harder to get people in. And what's great about personal training is one personal training sale is often worth two, three, or four large group sales. So again, we're gonna go over the three easy steps to boost your gym's revenue with personal training. Step number one is to set your pricing. So if you've been following me for a while, you know I recommend making sure that you are maintaining a 70% profit margin on each individual service. Meaning if somebody is going to spend $100 for an hour personal training session, you can only pay your trainer $30. Now, if you've already established a 40, 50, or $60 rate with your personal training team, then you need to take a look at your pricing strategy. You might wanna consider launching a small group training program rather than a one-on-one -on -one training program. So you need to set your pricing appropriately and you need to make sure that you're paying your trainers adequately. Never ever do a 60-40 or 50-50 split. So after you've set your prices, you're ready to get some personal training clients. The easiest way to do this is to market internally. And you're going to market internally with two different methods. Method number one is a personal invite. So I want you to go through your current member list and make a list of the top five to 10 people you think would take you up on personal training. Maybe they have a short-term goal, like a wedding coming up. Maybe there's somebody who's expressed interest in wanting to get results. Maybe there's someone you know could afford it. Whatever it is, make a list of those people that you're gonna personally approach. You can send them a little text message that says, hey, I've got something important to discuss with you. Let me know when you have a few minutes free so we can chat. This works well because it's curiosity provoking. And again, you've already have an established relationship with this member, so usually they're going to say yes. The second method you're gonna use is called a case study email or text message. I recommend sending a text first and then sending an email to anyone who doesn't respond to your text. You can send it just to your current members. You can also send it to your entire email list and you want to send something along the lines of, hey, I'm starting a new case study program. Before you send the case study program, you're gonna figure out what result the vast majority of your clients are gonna want. For most of you, it's gonna be fat loss, so I'm gonna use that in the example. So the text would go something like this, hey, first name, I'm starting a new case study program to help busy parents or busy moms who want to drop 10 to 30 pounds in the next month without giving up their favorite foods, are you in? So you're basically just gonna call out who the avatar is, the result they want, and then without the things they don't want. This is usually referred to as the yay without the boo, so fat loss without giving up your favorite foods, the yay without the boo. So you're gonna implement those two methods in order to get people to raise their hands so you can set them up for the sales appointment. Which leads me into step number three, use prescriptive-based selling. So you have to remember that programs equal objections, results equal a sale. So when you pitch someone a program, hey, I've got a six-week challenge, you get a lot of objections. I'm going on vacation, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if the dates are gonna work for me. I don't know if I can make a time commitment. Is the meal plan gonna be too strict? You know, am I gonna have to eat a bunch of foods I don't like? Whatever the objections are, when you have a program, you get a lot of objections. But when you use prescriptive-based selling to sell a result, that's when you get a sale. So you're gonna ask somebody, hey, how much weight do you wanna lose? When do you wanna lose it by? How many days per week can you commit to working out? Now, how aggressive do you wanna be with the meal plan? How fast do you want results? And then you're gonna say, hey, listen, based on what you told me, the price for the program, your program is X, and here's the results. So you can expect to lose this amount of weight in this amount of time frame when you work out this many times per week, and we follow this nutritional plan. And again, this is a custom-built prescription 
based on whatever they told you rather than trying to meld them into a specific program. Now I've got a step-by-step -step video of exactly how to do a prescriptive sale. I show you all the diagrams that I draw out. This is inside of my Facebook community for gym owners. The link for that is in the show notes. But the premise of it is much like a doctor who writes a prescription, when a doctor writes a prescription, you don't question it, right? You simply take the prescription, fill it, whatever the cost is, it doesn't matter. You need this medicine or you need this treatment or whatever it is, right? So you can use that same method to identify what the problem is. The doctor's gonna ask some questions so he can provide you with the diagnosis. You're gonna tell them what the prescription is. Again, it's based on whatever they told you, which eliminates objections because they've already told you what kind of meal plan they want. They've already told you how much weight they wanna lose and when they wanna lose it. They've already told you how many days per week they can commit to working out with their schedule. So to review, the three steps to boosting your gym's revenue with personal training are to set your prices so that you can maintain a 70% profit margin, to use the case study email and the personal invite method to get people to raise their hands so you can schedule sales appointments, which you will use prescriptive-based selling to close the deal and virtually eliminate all objections. All right, that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you never miss a video with more tips to grow and scale your gym.